Hello everyone, this is the day 8 of the admin training. In this day basically we will talk about that archive rule and destroy rule. So these two are very simple topic that we are going to discuss about the archive rule and destroy rule. So first we have to understand that what is the archive rule. Basically if you remember that we have a archive rule in our outlook normally right. So let's say that if any mail is more than one year that goes to the archive or similarly like WhatsApp message. Uh, we can archive any specific message or any specific mail and then after that whenever we need that mail um, from the archive we can back to restore that to our inbox or maybe our uh, messages right so similarly in the service now record so we can archive so let's say that in the incident record we have 1 million record and it is very hard to open this incident table because there are huge data into this incident table right for that reason, what we can do, we can archive specific record, let's say that three month old data, six month old data. Normally, people uh, archive that three year or two years data. So let's say that if any record which is created in two years ago or any record which is resolved in two years ago, they archive that. And whenever they need it, they can restore that data. But um, so basically it's archive and it goes to a, another table called archive table and there that data is stored. So in our today's class we will understand that how we can archive a specific record. So this is our service now tool. In this tool let's say that we are going to archive incident table right. So for the um, for the example let's first go and check that how many record present to the incident table. So we can open that incident dot list and you will be able to find out that at that moment 77 record is there. So let's say that there is 1 million data and when you open the incident table it got hanged because there are many data, too many data, right? When you do any query, any filter, any reporting it got hanged to that incident table or your instance got hanged. That's the reason we normally archive a specific table. Now in our specific case let's say that I am going to archive very specific record, 2-3 record because I am not going to archive all the record. To archive that any record what you can do as an admin you can go to the left navigation and type that archive. And if you type that here you will get a module called system archiving under the system archiving the very first module called archive rules you can click there and then here you will find out all the archive uh, rules present at that moment is showing right now. For example I am not going to use any existing archive rule I am going to create a new archive rule for you. So what I will do I will click the new button and in this uh, once you click the new button it will open a new form where you can define the archive tool. For example we are going to archive which table we are going to archive to that incident table so let's do that so i will select that incident so once we select that incident table so i have selected the incident ta uh, table remember that you cannot create more than one archive rule for a specific table so in our case there was no archive rule so i have selected the table equal to incident and now here you can say that uh, any name you can any any name you suggested so i will select the incident now here you need to select that active equal to true and under that you will have to be select the filter. Let's say that you can put that created any record which is created last six months we are going, going to uh, archive that. So once we select that it will start recalculating and here it's showing that how many record can be archived. So it is saying that 58 record can be archived. Alright, now what we'll do if we want to add any specific uh, related records. What does it mean by related record? So in the incident table there could be many related record, right? So if you scroll down there is a related record called task CI. Uh, SLA, task SLA. So these are the related record. If you want to archive this uh, task SLA, SLA also we can do that. For example, I am doing um, archive this task SLA also table. So what we will do, I will add this uh, related record, archive related record. And here we will select that archive. And then if you want to delete, you can define that. And here we will select that, um, you know, task SLA. And you can see the task in task SLA. So this is showing right now. And we'll simply submit that. So we'll go back to this our archive rule again. And this is the archive rule. Uh, right now count is showing that 58 record is going to be archived. I just have to be activate this archive rule again. And here you can see I, this archive rule will be uh, archived within 30 minutes. 
So if you want to archive now, what you can do, you can simply scroll down and here you have a option called run archive now. Let's say first recalculate that estimate uh, archive. So I'll just recalculate that archive and this archive rule will be automatically run within this second. But let's say I will select that run archive now. Once I have clicked that, this archive has been started and under this archive run, under the related list, you will be able to find out the log. So if I click here, you can see this state is right now uh, completed. It means that archive is done. So let's go back to the incident table. There are the 77 record. And now you can see right now current record count is the 19. So it means that all the record, all the, it means that all the 58 record got archived. So if we refresh that, we will be able to see that all this um, record is automatically archived. And if I open this, uh, uh, you know, this um, logs table, you, it will show that details which all record got archived and archive stored in a separate table called AR underscore incident table. So if I open this particular record, you can see this table name, archive table name start with AR. So it will start with AR underscore incident table where this record is moved from incident to AR underscore incident table. So this is the record where it, um, you know, moved to the archive record and if you want to restore the record you can just click the restore record then this record will be moved to the um, actual table like incident table right now this record that this incident is not present if you search out search this incident number here you won't be able to find out because this incident got archived to a specific table called ar underscore incident but if you want to restore the data you can simply click the restore records and this incident will be restored here so right now you can see the incident got restored. So this way you can archive any specific uh, list of record. So we understand that how archive rule run. Now we'll talk about the destroy rule. What is the destroy rule? Let's say that um, I talk about that archive rule, right? So in this year underscore incident, all the archive uh, incident store, right? So if I uh, open this to a table called year underscore incident, you can see right now 58 record moved from um, incident to this table right now if we don't want to store or if we don't want so when you archive this data your database size will be keep on increasing right so let's say that a data which is six years or ten years ago you don't you don't want to uh, store in archive anymore you want to completely destroy that record you can do that by using destroy rule so you can just go back here we have an options called archive destroy rule. Using that archive destroy rule, you can completely destroy any specific record. So let's first search with the incident and if we able to find out any record at that moment. So if I search here, we don't have any uh, destroy rule for the incident. So let's open any existing record. So you can see we have a destroy rule which is under um, AR underscore sys email table which is archive sys email table. Now, um, if I open that, it is saying that any record which is archived more than one year ago, in that record you want they want to destroy, and then these all data are destroyed. So similarly, here we can create our destroy rule. So I'm going to create a destroy rule. I'll click the new options. Here we need to select the table name. So I will select the incident. Once I uh, select the incident, here it's coming that archive incident, and here we can put that uh, any uh, name. Finally. After that, uh, you can select the destroy related record here, checkbox and archive duration. Here you can select the time on which time or how many days you want to store archive record and after that you completely destroy. So normally it have the three years, four years day or uh, you know some days. Uh, for our case, I am going to select that one minute. So because I want to destroy this all record which is present here which is recently actually um, archived. So for demonstration purpose, I will select that any record which is, you know, uh, more than one minute staying into this archive table, delete that. So that's the option showing right now. Now if you click that recalculate estimation, so it is uh, showing that 77 record, this 77 record is going to be deleted. Now I will just simply activate that. And so once we activate it, and there will be a couple of schedule job which automatically picks up but if you want to destroy right now we'll just click that run archive destroy now once we click that this job will be started immediately 
and under this related record it's showing total number of uh, records and the status is completed it means that this record should be deleted at